So in this problem, we're going to deal with the signal x of t equals e to the bt u of minus t. And we're going to assume that b is a real number greater than 0. So often this is called a left-sided decaying exponential function. And the reason it's called a left-sided decaying exponential function is because if you plot this signal as a function of time, it is a signal that decays as you go in negative time. It decays towards the left. So x of t always looks something like this for b greater than 0. It's, it turns off at time 0, and it decays to smaller and smaller values to the left or negative time. What we are going to do is we are going to compute x of omega, which is the Fourier transform of x of t. So we're going to use the definition of the Fourier transform, and we are going to compute x of omega. So to do that, we're just going to start with the definition of the Fourier transform. This is the definition of the Fourier transform. Integral from minus infinity to infinity of x of t e to the minus j omega t dt. For this particular problem we're working, we were told that x of t is e to the bt u of minus t. So we can plug that in. We have to also plug in e to the minus j omega t dt, because that's the other part of the Fourier transform integral definition. Now in this next step, we simplify the integral limits. u of minus t is a step function that is on from minus time up to time zero, so we can use that to essentially turn the limits of the integral off for all positive time. So we've removed u of minus t, but we haven't removed it. We've actually used it to change the limits of the integral. We only need to integrate from minus infinity to zero because for all time greater than zero, u of minus t is off and the product of the integrand is zero. So now we just have an integral from minus infinity to zero of these two exponential functions. Using the property of the exponential functions, we can write this as a single exponential function where we've added the arguments of the exponential function. So we now have an integral of e to the t quantity b minus j omega dt. And now this is a really simple integral to do because we know how to integrate exponentials very easily. The integral of an exponential is just the exponential you start with. And then you use the chain rule. Chain rule. You have to take the derivative with respect to t of the argument of the exponential. So when we take the derivative of t times the quantity b minus j omega, when we take the derivative of that with respect to t, we're just left with b minus j omega, so we've divided by that. And we now have to evaluate this quantity at the limits of 0 and minus infinity. So we evaluate this when t is equal to 0, and we get 1 on the numerator because e to the 0 is 1, b minus j omega on the denominator. And then we have to subtract off this quantity evaluated at time minus infinity. Well, e to the minus infinity is 0, so we just have to subtract off 0. So we're left with 1 minus b over, I'm sorry, 1 over b minus j omega minus 0, which is just 1 over b minus j omega. So we've just used the definition of the Fourier transform to show that the Fourier transform of a left-sided decaying exponential function is the function 1 over b minus j omega. And again, if you prefer, you want to work in linear frequency. We know that omega and the linear frequency variable f are related by the equation omega equals 2 pi f. So if you wanted to, you could just replace omega with 2 pi f and have this Fourier transform as a function of linear frequency f if so desired.